the Internal Revenue Service, may have been caught violating federal tax law. In October 2010, the agency sent a database on social welfare groups, containing confidential taxpayer information to the Federal Bureau of Investigation, according to documents obtained by a House panel. The information was transmitted in advance of former IRS official Lois Lerner's meeting the same month with Justice Department officials about the possibility of using campaign finance laws to prosecute certain nonprofit groups. In other words, the Tea Party. Students for Justice in Palestine, with nearly 100 chapters on campuses around the nation, has become increasing strident in promoting its agenda, staging die-ins, handing out mock eviction notices in dormitories, and raising funds for Hamas-aligned groups, according to watchdog groups. The White House allowed the parents of Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl to take part in a series of secure video conferences with the State Department, intelligence officials and senior military commanders, according to a published report. An audit of the Veterans Administration found that more than 57,000 veterans have waited at least 90 days for an appointment. The department audit of 731 hospitals and outpatient clinics also found that 13% of schedulers reported that supervisors told them to falsify appointment dates. There are also 64,000 patients who, over the last 10 years, have never had an appointment. A Michigan teenager who wanted to raise awareness about cerebral palsy by walking 40 miles with his younger brother strapped to his back battled heat rain, fatigue and more to finish the trek Sunday. Hunter Gandhi, 14, had been planning for weeks to pull off the walk, hoping to put a face on the muscular disorder that prevents his seven-year-old sibling, Brayden, from being able to walk without help. But all his organizing couldn't prepare him for the conditions he faced, as he packed the 50-pound boy over two days. And now for sports. The Miami Heat took game to from the San Antonio Spurs in the 98-96 victory, leaving the NBA final series tied at one apiece. The World Cup hasn't even begun, and already there's been a training ground run in between two Dutch players, and Cameroon's entire team delayed its flight to Brazil in a dispute over their tournament bonus. Nine-time Grand Slam winner Monica Sells is engaged to marry 72-year-old former NHL owner Tom Golisano, he revealed this week. Sells, 40, and Golisano have dated since 2009. Sells has been retired since 2008 and Golisano sold the Buffalo Sabres in 2011, though he recently has been campaigning to buy the Bills and keep them in Buffalo. And now for entertainment news. Justin Bieber reportedly cleansed his soul with a bathtub baptism at a Manhattan church last week, after a new video was released of the pop star singing the N-word five years ago. British comedian and actor Rick Mayall has died aged 56. He played the obnoxious, poetry-writing anarchist Rick in The Young Ones, alongside his friend Adrian Edmondson. The duo later went on to star in the sitcom Bottom. A pioneer of the 1980s alternative comedy scene, Mayall also appeared in Blackadder and the New Statesman. A teenage girl's brutal attack on her mother has been linked to an obsession with fictional horror figure Slender Man. An Ohio mom, who was stabbed by her 13-year-old daughter in the kitchen of their home, has told how her child assaulted her after the girl became obsessed with the fictional character. I came home one night from work and she was in the kitchen waiting for me and she was wearing a mask, a white mask, 